Hi guys, for today's teardown we have this, yes, one ultra sound probe from uh, Philips. I got it uh, for uh, 30 euros on eBay because it is broken here. So it is actually cheap because the working one is worth uh, around uh, 6 or 7 thousand dollars in second hand condition. So my other ultrasound probe is completely sealed, but this one, it looks like it would be possible to open it. The connector piece also will be apparently easy to open. So let's do it. I did probe a little bit here and it seems to be uh, hollow, in fact, this uh, empty, this part. It is quite weird, but uh, with a knife I was able to poke around and the case is not completely glued. It looks like it is glued with uh, silicon inside. So I will try not to cut myself here. Look at this. It looks like is wanting to come. I will try not to damage it too much and uh, be able to reglue it from my collection, but the hard side is the, the, the hand here, it looks like. And here we have some silicone Goop to fill it, fill the case, but so far I was expecting more problems. So I will try to poke around here. It is really the hand which is giving me some trouble, so I will see if I can split up, oh, yes, without uh, damaging anymore actually this piece at the back, at the end, but it looks like I might be going somewhere. Still very hard. Okay, little bit of damage on the plastic here, but it is not a big deal. I will repair it. A little bit of filing, maybe. So where are we? Are we here? Is there a screw or something? I am not sure at all. Or is it simply glued? It looks like, okay, it is simply glued. So I will be able to repair this, hopefully, and put this back in its original condition. Okay, we have some super weird stuff, guys. Uh, I will try to undo the other half of the case first. Really happy with this tear down because I wanted to take one apart for a long time. We might have yes, some blue ink action here. 
and here it seems okay and here also so, uh, oops let's be careful with this cutter so same thing here I will insert a blade and try to remove everything quite a bit of a challenge but Careful with this cutter. Uh, let me try to pry here and here. There is an, some kind of an aluminium piece here at the front. It seems. Ah, yes, it is really glued uh, here, in fact. So I have to go further with my blade and try to separate at this level, but as you can guess. Just slowly pry it out of the way, and maybe it will come eventually. First, I can cut here. Okay, we are good. So here is what we have. I will remove any excess of uh, silicone goop here. I will need to probably clean these parts and then I will be able to glue it back. Maybe with just a uh, glue or something like this. So now I can clean a little bit more here. And I see four little tabs that seem to be retaining the front uh, piece here. So let's remove them. Yes. So far, I am quite lucky. I was expecting more problems. No blood yet. And it looks like it will be possible to do something without too much damage to the thing. I need to cut everywhere this all around the seal here. It should come. It will shovel here. Okay. More cutting action needed here. Okay. Oh, it is quite uh, dirty inside, actually. I am sure if it is some old grease or something, because this seems to be some kind of uh, tank of grease little plastic bag with a pipe going in this part yes so it is some kind of old grease quite disgusting but i will try to remove most of it and then we can try to figure out what we have here so i will clean this uh, better before i reassemble obviously so we seem to have, yes, look at this. We have actually a moving part here, so this scanner head, yes, I can even see the shaft here, is uh, moving. We have a cover. Let, let me uh, clean it a little bit, I will be right back. Okay, it is a little bit better. Uh, so, apparently, we have this scanner head here 
all the connections to it seem to be made here with a stack of uh, flat flex here. We have here some kind of skin we I call undo. No, it is glued actually. But yes, this is actually the connections to all the uh, ultrasound, the stack of ultrasound elements which are located back here. Probably a stack of uh, elements with uh, one or two connections each time made with this uh, flat flex with a number of uh, fine tracks. Same on the other side, or just ground return or something like this. Okay, so we have this moving assembly here, the kind of uh, oil tank here, and some uh, copper shielding covering the motor assembly. So this I want to undo. First there is this kind of uh, ring here, oh no, uh, excuse me, uh, zip tie, but it is uh, actually a metal zip tie. I might have to just destroy it. Excuse me, I hope I was not too much out of the frame. Oops. At least the connector side will be much easier to take apart, I believe. Yes, it is some kind of uh, stainless steel thing I will need to remove it because it is in the way if I want to remove this shielding so not a big deal I will just undo it like such I guess anyway it is just an internal piece I will replace with a regular zip tie Okay. Yes. Ah. Very strong and serious stainless steel zip tie. Okay. So this is out of the way. Now I should be able to pry open this part. There is some white clear tape here. I will replace with a captain tape when reassembling the device, probably. Okay. So this is going to the waste bin. And now I should be able to unfold and unglue this layer of copper copper tape I will try to save it in order to be able to reuse it but it looks like it is not possible now it will tear yes okay maybe it is possible to order something similar from Banggood it is completely winning my white balance by the way so there is a ground wire here, so this is going to be recycling. And we have, guys, wow, apparently a very complicated thing with a number of uh, layers under this uh, adhesive tape. That will be replaced obviously so really complicated assembly yes we have in fact the interconnections between the uh, flat flex to the head on the moving assembly here and the uh, wires to the main lid 
look at this. So this will be a nice uh, thumbnail for my video, I believe. Yes, like this, quite nice. So let me try to undo all the layers here. If possible, with no damage to the flat flex. Oh, actually, they are uh, soldered to the board. So there is a connector, but they are soldered at the same time. Quite weird. The ground needs a better connection, it seems, for shielding, and is uh, actually soldered. I would like to see the motor in the middle. And it seems it is further below more layers. Wow. Quite insane this thing actually. And I believe I will be able to uh, close it again uh, with not too many uh, visible damage. Okay, some uh, Teflon tape here I have this stuff for uh, piping, so I will be able to replace this. Okay, number of connections and hopefully will we, will we be able to access to the middle and see which kind of motor we have. Wow. insane number of layers. I am afraid I will need to maybe unsolder this. Undo completely this uh, flat flex. So an order uh, actually unsolder here the uh, things. Let me figure it out. If it is possible to do without soldering or not. Okay, so far so good. Uh, now I should be able to access to the uh, middle piece. I do not know where the start is on this sticky tape. So we'll just cut it. Wow, quite uh, insane this thing, no wonder it is uh, very expensive and obviously all and made with love. So it is actually uh, made in uh, USA, we will see it on the plug, but the Philips brand, so Philips uh, subsidiary in the USA. Okay. I will search one good for a replacement uh, copper foil. So obviously, I cannot retrieve it. which might be the motor, must be the motor even, ok, uh, so we have more layers on what seems to be a super nice motor guys, so I will try to remove this layer of sticky tape. I don't know if I will uh, reassemble uh, as it was to keep in my collection or just uh, close the box. Okay, so around it and keep uh, it uh, without the shielding, anyways. 
it is not going to be used anytime soon so okay so wow maybe we are good here lot of sticky tape removal later okay I guess I can get rid of this and at least have a look at what we have here so uh, obviously Very nice motor by Fall Haber brand called Mini Motor Swiss made. This might be a dead code. Uh, looks like uh, the connections to the motor. We might have a speed or position pickup here on the main connections here. All made here on this little uh, relay board, also with the uh, grounding. And I just notice here one extra board might be a position sensor for the head. Yes, seems to be all, to be a all effect sensor here. All effect sensor. Grounding everywhere. Our little empty reservoir of uh, grease and our scanning aid assembly which cannot be really uh, taken apart further it seems because it is anyway a big just one stack of uh, ultrasound elements yes very very uh, compressed stack uh, like this and uh, it looks like it is all for this uh, piece so I will need to figure out how to put this back uh, more or less together maybe with just some uh, captain tape will be good enough the why is it this piece here I do not know if I can try to reglue it maybe would be good if I can reglue it and repair it a little bit maybe from the inside at least I will see what I can do I need to clean it a little bit better first and uh, then I will be able to take care of this correctly but for now I will just maybe close it like this and we will have a look at the other side the connector side which I hope will be a lot easier to take apart so about this connector piece uh, very big first big locking handle the model number of the probe here IPX7 manufacturing information here the actual serial number seems to be written down in here and we have the regular multi-pin ultrasound probe connector with golden pins that will actually make contact not from the end but from the side because if you look closely when I turn the handle it will move them and they will mate on the matching connector on the side here we have a little ball each time that makes the contact oops and uh, um, about this handle the case seems to be made of uh, die cast aluminium and there is something very nice and very convenient guys that is called screws they allow you to take things apart without destroying everything so I hope 
This part would be possible to take apart and it would be easier than the uh, head which is reassembled for now with a zip tie if you want that. So there is some kind of little cap here but I am not too concerned with it. I believe it is just a rubber cap. Yes, like this. I guess I need to undo this screw. Okay. This was easy enough. And now the uh, four screws here. So guess what? It is Philips brand, but we have Imperial Allen screws because US made maybe. I was not expecting uh, Imperial Allen screws on uh, Philips brand equipment, but it happens obviously. So just four screws and hopefully the whole thing will come out. I hope the wires are long enough and there is not more of this copper shielding that I need to destroy too. Reveal the contents. Okay. shielding and we see immediately all the electronics oh nice is it so first inside the box here oh do tell this Philips South Korea interesting we have here the uh, all for the uh, shaft of the uh, handle looking handle and there is a apparently uh, spring in the middle for uh, shielding and look at here the attachment of a cable quite uh, nice so the shielding is made by the box it is why we have not another one inside we have here all the wires in the teflon coating so i do not know if the teflon coating continues inside the cable or if it is just for the no it does not seem no it is just for the uh, uh, internal arrangement here and here we have apparently what seems to be two similar boards with this ICs a number of them a number of uh, inductors also Same on the other side, but the inductors are blue here for some reason. And here we have a port to board little meter connects here for the uh, wires. And uh, they are actually uh, glued in place with some uh, silicone group. Is it possible to pull these things? Yes. Oops, this is not good. Let me repair it immediately. Super small contacts here. Wow. We have a middle, uh, another little board here. I suspect it is for the uh, more for the power supply things. Okay. So here is our uh, connector board. Okay, did not damage too much weapons. What is it written? Mount zip connector on reverse side. Yes. Number of contacts. And our special zip connector. And it should allow us to have a better look here. We have a uh, ferrite on the cable, 
the number of uh, small wires which are actually, I believe, coax wires. Yes, ha. it is super small, but you can see we have two levels here on this uh, termina terminations. We have grounding here on the actual contact in the uh, further. So every of this uh, little wire is a coaxial wire. Quite amazing. And here we have uh, actually bigger wires, bigger caliber uh, size of wires probably for the Uh, it is written, in fact, for what it is. It is written, switch, 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 motor, motor, motor. Okay. Motor A, B, C, and uh, switch. TMP, maybe uh, temperature, not used. So it is all the auxiliaries. So motor, po motor power supply and the, uh, the feedback switches for the head and the motor, apparently. Quite interesting. Little unknown device here. Maybe just some uh, filter. Yes, FB, not Facebook. Filter block, maybe. Yes. And one uh, total amp capacitor. And uh, other side here, same thing. More, uh, more inductors, more uh, same kind of ICs. The card are called 3D odd and even because it seems to be a 3D probe. Okay, so I will try to put this back together with not too many damage to these super delicate connectors. As you can see, there is one bent here, it is just uh, Quite amazing, oh, delicate there are. Quite crazy stuff. Okay, this side is good. Oh, here I need to, actually, you know what? I prefer not disconnecting one more time this uh, delicate connector and just cut the zip tie here to be much more easy. Okay. And here, quite insane. Oh, you mixed a super. Uh, quite a strong and heavy duty connector here with uh, super fine, super delicate ones here. Okay, and it is apparently all. I should be able to put this back in the case, hopefully, maybe. is quite uh, maybe to this way in fact yes it works much better okay you get the ID so I hope you did uh, enjoy this uh, teardown of uh, Philips V8-4 3D uh, ultrasound probe really it was a nice interesting thing so thanks for watching bye bye